but David's was both ears. And that was an issue because basically so with Mindy she could always hear out of one ear and that's helpful to be able to learn to speak and everything else for the first three years of his life David could only hear muffled period they figure it was the full from his first ear infection on that's all he could hear was muffled sounds and that of course is always an issue because if all you can hear is muffled sounds that means you can't communicate and you can't learn to communicate and learn how things are supposed to sound and what you're supposed to be hearing until like the pathways don't get created that are necessary for that and that's what was happening with David is the pathways were not being developed Oh, I totally understand, Steph. Yeah. And so, every so often with David, even now, if you listen closely, and you have to kind of have a hint to be able to listen close enough to hear it, because he's really done amazing. But if you listen really close to David every so often, you will, you can hear the hints that actually the pathways were not created. And he's had to work on creating them. So you'll hear hints of the same sounds that someone who's deaf may make. It's not much and it's definitely not often. But it's still there slightly. And there's not really much we can do there. Because we had no clue. We seriously, they were actually kind of surprised. One, that it had, that he showed no signs of pain. That was, but, and so they questioned that at first. But the doctor was right there seeing how he was responding and he even did a few tests thinking, there's no way, he's got to be in pain. And realized he's not in pain. And so at that point they went, crap, <laughs> you're going to have no way of, the, his, your only way of knowing when this kid has an air infection and that was at the time. Now things have changed because we did treat it and he's gone so long without. But originally the only way to know he had an ear infection was to listen for him to not be able to hear. Listen to at, when he was younger before he he knew how to listen himself. It was 
we literally had to listen to hear him either one or to realize one he appeared to be ignoring us which we always knew wasn't him ignoring us it was him not hearing us and that that was frustrating for my mom and dad numerous times that'd be like he's not listening to you you need to punish him and I'd be I'm not punishing him until I get him into the doctor but he's not listening to you why aren't you reacting to this and I'd be like <laughs> because this is one of the signs that he may not be hearing me <laughs> and almost without fail because David's been an amazing kid I'd be able to go back to mom and dad and say remember when you got mad that I didn't punish him well it was a good thing I didn't punish him because he didn't hear me <laughs> I'd be like, what? How? You were yelling. How could he not hear you? Because he has an ear infection again? <laughs> that was... And it took a little while because dad had a brother who... Not had. Has a brother who is deaf. But he started to realize, as I said, dad listen to his speech and he started to realize that he could tell when my son had an ear infection by listening to the speech and that was often you know if he wasn't listening I'd listen closer to his or if he wasn't here it wasn't responding it was acting like he wasn't hearing I would generally listen to his speech and it would indicate that, yep, he's got an ear infection back. And so then we'd take him in and we'd get him on antibiotics and it would go away. And usually about that time is when his tube came out. And we'd take him back in to get new tubes placed. But it was quite interesting. Because of that, I will say in some ways I think the kids were blessed because I actually was on it a little bit faster than... And the doctor literally at that point told me with what this is, you've caught it sooner with the way he's acting than most parents would have caught this. Most would have, it would have been caught as they're in school. And by then, you've then lost most of the hearing and they proceed to struggle the rest of their life to catch up. Because the brain never created the pathways for the... You have, you have certain pathways that your brain has to create to be able to hear. And in a lot of kids who have what David has. And had it as bad as David has it. Or had it. Um, it wouldn't be caught until they were in school and then it would be caught in school because the teacher would be complaining the kids not hearing the kid would be complaining or I mean the teacher would be complaining the t kids not listening the kid would be complaining they're not hearing so the teacher would start watching more for signs and would realize the kid literally wasn't hearing and would recommend getting him in for testing and then in the testing they find out that 
the kid has a issue with hearing literally an issue not that they're choosing not to and then from then on they have to deal with the repercussions of years of not hearing in David's case because I was proactive in my kids' lives and health and everything else, it was caught when he was three years old, two and a half, three years old. So his, he was still young enough that the body was still creating pathways. It took a while, it took longer than if then it takes babies to create those pathways. But in general, those pathways were created. So, so yes, we were prepared, if that makes sense, for the tubes, I guess is what I the round, long-winded way of saying we knew this was coming because he was getting he was having too many ear infections again and so it was more the timing um, we would have preferred to get it done a bit sooner just because the sooner we can get it done, the better. But they said basically with how long it takes to get things through insurance, this is the quickest that it could be done with the doctor's schedule. So, because they need at least 15 days. The doctor thought he could see him next week. Like, literally get him in for surgery next week. And the doctor's office kind of said, Nope, that's not, we can't go that fast. It's the insurance that's the issue, and they want longer than that. So... Okay, November news just dropped. We will, as soon as I don't have a life yet, we will go look at November news. It's interesting. It always drops. It seems to always drop right about the time I'm on stream. I'm not complaining. It gives us something to talk about. But it is, the past two have been while I've been on stream, which is very interesting. Oh, okay, Lynette dropped a video. Might not be live on... Twitter yet. We will see then. So that's why because <laughs> I managed to go live an hour before their drop time so I finish everything and then we do their or and then their drop time comes. 
No complaints. One of these days, Steph, I got to get over to your island. So I spent yesterday, what, 60,000 nook miles trying to find Bianca or Savannah. Cool. Because if it's live on Discord, it's live on Twitter and we can go read everything. And support Orange Heart. I honestly think he should, he, she, whatever, they should be... Included in any reimbursement, anything given to people, but they aren't. So anyone who has money, which, you know, that reminds me. If you appreciate what Orange Wizard does for the community... As I already stated, they do not get reimbursement or anything from anywhere, but they did create a give me a coffee or something. That's the best way you can support him is go drop a little, drop some money there. Best way to say thank you for everything you do for this community. And Steph knew exactly where I was going with it. Hey, Steph, if you want, I know as a, I may have links blocked, but um, as a moderator, I know you can put the link in. Maybe you could go grab the link from his page for that. <laughs> so 30 he gets $35 a month for the hours and days and weeks of work he puts into it and the stress behind it too. So basically he gets nothing. So if you could grab that link if not, I'll grab it when we go on Twitter. Or, yeah, when we go look on Twitter.
And then the other thing... Thank you. The other thing that... And in fact, maybe I will create, while well, I'm thinking, or I'll, I, yeah, I should create is a support orange heart link in so that I can make it easier next time in, um, Nightbot, but I'll have to do that later. <laughs> But, so one thing I've noticed with him also is they're changing things right, left, and center on him, many times not giving him any warning. And then he's rushing about trying to give us the as quick as he can, sometimes in the middle of his night, to give us the most accurate, most up-to-date information available. So, anything we can do to support him, he's had a lot of backlash from the community also because of how hard things have been lately. He does not participate in the programming at all. He is there to support the community. Yeah, exactly, Steph. That's what I was just kidding to. He is there for us. He is not there for Niantic or Warner Brothers. And so if we want this to continue, we want to continue to have the easier way of being able to read and know what's coming up because... Otherwise, we would be stuck with the videos that the YouTubers put out that have the NDAs or reading what Niantic puts in the um, news section. And if any of you have been able to figure out how to play the game from the news section, I commend you. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying is he had nothing. Honestly, I think if he had had something to do with it, he would have changed a ton of things about what was going on because I think he foresaw it. I think he foresaw the issues he's not listened to. That's one thing. People who think he has direct has any ability to change events, let me make it clear. They don't listen to him. They tell him what the events are going to be. And that's it. He has no ability to change what's coming, what's happened, or what's going to happen, what our tasks are going to be, anything else. He tries. He passes the word on. But many times they ignore him. They just totally tune him out. So, exactly. They only listen when they want to. So, appreciates what he does for the community. Use that link, the Kofi link. Um, you can see this. See there. And it's the Kofi.com Orange Wizard. And it took two years, but I finally earned a meatball parm. Wow. Yeah. Complaints about anything. This is another thing. 
go to Niantic's Twitter page or any of their social medias and post it there. If you want to attack someone over it, attacks aren't the best way to get your point through. It'll probably be ignored if you attack, but if you feel you have to attack someone, attack Niantic on Niantic's social medias. Don't attack Niantic through Orange Wizard or any of the WooTubers or anything like that. They are there for us. They're doing their best. Okay, Brilliant Event Part 1, November 3rd through November 10th. It is Dumbledore's Army. So, this will be this coming Tuesday through the next week. That following, that Saturday, right after the first Brilliant Event <coughs> is Community Day. And it, we will have a different chamber. Did you notice that, Steph? The only time they talk about chambers is fortress. The only chambers are of a fortress. And I don't think we have a chess chamber. So it'll be interesting to see what port keys are for that. Okay, Brilliant Army Part 2 will be the next week, the next Tuesday after Community Day through the Tuesday right before U.S. Thanksgiving. Wizarding Weekend will be Black Friday Weekend. And Care of Magical Creatures. Which I don't really care about. His loyalty program? I got this guy. Oh. So you didn't so realize. We're both winners. I realized something you didn't from it. From what I can tell... I've never heard them refer to anything as a chamber except in the fortress. Last time they released us the basilisk chamber to fight the basilisk in. And if you remember, we had to use all the dark arts runestones to be able to... Pokemon Go. And I will say, do not base your idea of how many foundables are around on what's around me. Because... <laughs> Stuff will vouch that I have a very high number of foundables in my area. Usually it does not, usually there's not that many foundables. Let's see, chess. Oh, guess what, Steph? Guess what I realized they're doing? Check this out, Steph. So, you remember we were told Legends of Hogwarts Foundables is what we're working on? So either it's going to be stuff from that page, or we're going to need to save the runestones. 
but yeah, Cannonball Studios, if you ever have any questions, if you want to play, we can help you. If you have questions, we can help you. Um, we really enjoy this. And there's a whole storyline behind it. So the idea is that the is that someone created a spell or something that brought There's not very much there. That's why it's going to be I need to listen to the videos and stuff and see if I can gather some more information to figure it out stuff. Anyway, um So this spell has brought all of these art things from the wizarding world into the muggle world. And the what we have to do is we have to find them and return them to the right time in the wizarding world before a muggle happens upon them. And you have different levels of security risk if a muggle finds out. Like this one, it's uh, the threat is very high. If someone saw this, a muggle saw this going on, they would be very alarmed. And it could give away the wizarding world. Whereas the lowest threat levels are ones that if someone found, they might not be as shocked about and they could just it might be able to be brushed off uh, is the idea behind it I'll click on one of them right now so like and I don't know why this is considered a lower level threat oh this is a medium high threat never mind that makes more sense I was going to say. I thought I clicked on the one that was a low, but I guess it wasn't a low. But, so each of them have different threat, threat levels. And rather than like with Pokemon Go, you're throwing the balls at them. With this one... You're casting spells. And each foundable has different spells that are needed to return them. And so you... There's a lot more going on to it, but there's also a storyline behind it. We are trying to find out one who cast the Calamity, is what it's called, and caused it, how we can stop it, and, and in relation to that, there's two, there's the Muggle Five, or the, not the Muggle Five, the Missing Five, which is a huge storyline they've just gone missing and um after that one of the spouses of one of them is called grim and we're trying to find out if he's part of the problem if he may have been who cast it or if someone has framed him. So they've said that the storyline is a long-term storyline. And we get these hints through brilliant events and different events like that. Yeah, that's why I'm going what? With the chamber, so. Uh, 
uh, stuff. Um, so let's go look here. So we have the foundable spell information about Grim Folly, the background, the ministry record, and Penelope Folly, who's his wife's background. We also have, so these event pages give us information, like this one was Darkness Rising. And we got to see Brilliant Dar Nocturne Alley and Borgen and Burks. We've had Room of Requirements in the Hall of Prophecies, Diagon Alley, and Hogwarts Courtyard. Why are you not placed? Anyway, Hagrid's Hut, Black Lake Shore, etc. So we've seen a lot of different things. Nine and three quarters is not called this. It's in the Legends of Hogwarts that the one is called the Chest Chamber stuff. That's why I'm finding it interesting because we're getting two Legends of Hogwarts in a row, or we're going in a chamber in the fortress. So the fortress. Let's go. For Cannonball Studios, and we need to do a giveaway. Entry, if it'll open up. Mods, too. Within the last 15 minutes. Roll it. So we have the night bus, or you can find fortresses in your area. Let's just go here. You can go in and try and find teammates, like friends and stuff, but that can take a while. So I'm just going to go in. Unlike on Pokemon Go, we have this join button that basically says I'm ready. So you can go in quicker. Then having to wait for the time countdown. My family who plays Pokemon Go, whenever they play and they have they're going in a gym to fight, they're always like, Ah, where's my join? <laughs> Cause everyone's in there waiting. They have plenty to beat it, and they can't do anything. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's how you fight in the fortress. And we have different levels there. Okay, so it's still focused on Legends of Hogwarts again. So even during the Halloween one, we may want to save up for... the next one also. Let me put us back on Wizard Unite. In the stream info. <laughs> Thanks, I was, so, in Harry Potter world, and you, it sounds like you may know, Halloween's huge. Well, my birthday's also this month. And so, I wanted a way, or when I first started streaming, 
I was debating, I'm like, I'm going to want to do a giveaway sometime through the year. When do I want to do a giveaway? Do I want to do it at the year mark? And if I choose the year mark, how do I know what year mark do I go by? Do I go by when they first released it to beta players? To Do I go by when they released it to the world? Do I go by my year, a year from when I started streaming? There were just too many things going on there. So then I went, okay, do I do Christmas? Well, Christmas is a time everyone's doing giveaways. And that there's also a lot of... Um, demand money-wise in my family anyway because I'm a parent of a bunch of kids so Christmas was hard so then when do we do it and I saw October coming up and just especially with this game last year and everything else <laughs> and everything else, I was like, you know what? Why don't I do it in October every year? As a way to celebrate my birthday with the stream. And as a way to... Ouch! And as a way to... um celebrate this huge thing in the wizarding world and so that's why we do October giveaways on this channel and this year and I few streams ago can't remember I think last weekend I show last Friday I think I showed the wands that could be made into styluses so there's that and I did say and I'll throw it out but if I get enough people joining in on streams and everything else I can try to get some more and I can even try and get some more stylus tips so that we can have even more winners so and Steph, I wouldn't, part of me is wondering if some of them are only looking once a month or something for updates. Because you saw mine, I think it was like 30. Debating on what to go after. <laughs> that was another yeah that was well honestly I'm trying to think if I even got ever got a really giant download it could be I don't know. And maybe mine's still coming. And <laughs> they're phasing it in, so mine's still coming. Or they've just kind of 
pushed it out really slow to me. Because I do check some off and on in between. And I've had some when others are saying not. Thanks, Mrs. Puerto Rican. Like I said, I don't remember there being a huge one, but maybe there was. I just play the game, as you know, so. Let's see, go after the legends of Hogwarts. So, if you watch my stream, Mrs. Puerto Rican, you'll often find out about coming events, etc. More information. Um, and I usually, so the updates, releases, whatever, I usually just go in and check. But we were talking about the fact that they're, so to be able to figure this out, because this confused me for a minute, um, one of the room of require. first of all, starting tomorrow, we have an event, a Halloween event, and you're going to want Legends of Hogwarts traces and I'll talk about that in a minute but one of the legends of Hogwarts is the chest chamber so that information is going to be helpful if you, and throwing this out if you ever want to look and find out more information go to Orange Heart or Orange Heart 2018 on almost any social media and they release these, and they do this for both, obviously, the um, Pokemon Go and Wizards Unite, but obviously I go for the Wizards Unite stuff. My stepson <laughs> goes for the Pokemon Go stuff, and I don't know if he checks here or not. So, October 30th, which is tomorrow, because if I remember right, you're in California area, or at least that time zone, um, through November 2nd, which would be Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So, if I'm right on that you're in California, if I'm remembering that right, then it'll be 11 your time. Otherwise, it just based on Pacific time. We have the Tom Riddle gravestone will be in Obsidian port keys. All of these are going to be 1K port keys. We have Half-Blood print, the copy of the Half-Blood Prince um, advanced potion making that'll be in silver and the Wizengamut accusation chair will be in golden. Guaranteed fortress foundables if in Forest 4 and above. We'll see more werewolves. Favarti Patel, Sirius Black, Nymphadora Tonks, Young Harry Potter, Young Remus Lupin, Ministry Employee Newt. And we'll get, obviously, Legends of Hogwarts and Man Ministry of Magic. Rune stones may be dropped from those. And Trace Tonic is supposed to bring them in more. 
Understood, staff. I hope everything's okay. Let us know after you're here. Um, for the, the, the event this weekend, you will need to defeat 25 foes in wizarding challenges. Use existimal potions, any of them, seven times. Place seven Legends of Hogwarts images in the registry. Return 20 foundables guarded by Dementor confoundables. Return 20 foundables guarded by Bogart confoundables. And return 10 werewolf foundables. And then, of course, our usual gifts. And then they've released our November Lit calendar. We'll have start out Tuesday, this coming Tuesday with a brilliant event. Then the Saturday after the Brilliant event, we will have Community Day, and it will be the Chess Chamber. So, um, Steph and I were talking about, is that the Legends of Hogwarts registry page, or are they creating us a chamber in the fortress like they did for last Halloween? We... Um, I'm starting to lean more towards it may be Legends of Hogwarts, but we'll have to see. Then the Tuesday after that we get our next brilliant event. <coughs> and it will end the Tuesday before, right before Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving weekend we have Wizarding Weekend. And Wizarding Weekend is going to be Care of Magical Creatures. So there's a brief synopsis of ways to prepare and everything. And if you're still on Cannonball Studios and you'd like to play and you want ideas on ways to be able to play the easiest just starting let me know and we can definitely do some videos on that I did hear uh, Mrs. Puerto Rican that they are that they may have gotten the word about our complaints of how hard things have been and they're going to adjust them down especially so that new de new players are able to pay play easier so I'm glad Steph I hope everything's okay see trying to figure out I'm just gonna roll it because I can't remember how long ago that was okay other Mrs. Puerto Rican and I will be with you in just a minute I'm just quickly adding in these into the spreadsheet that contains all the entry winners this, doing it this way um, was the best way that I could think of to be able to include everyone. Ah, I see. So unless Steph decides she wants to let Cannonball Studios have one, or, one of her entries for today, I think she's gotten... Three ent yeah, she's gotten three entries today. Please do. I don't want to hear you ended up getting ran over by a hur hurricane. Totes can share. How many entries do you want to let Cannon have then, Steph? 
because I do know that you got a ten. That's why I thought, and I know you well enough. That's why I thought I'd ask. <laughs> All of them for today. Okay, so Cannon got three. I figured from today. I mean, <laughs> and so you know, Canon, what I do is I basically go as long as we have people here. Uh, and I play a variety of different games. You, I always start out with Wizards Unite, period. And if Wizards Unite has an event going on, I'll generally stay playing Wizards Unite throughout the day. But if there's nothing to do, many times I'll move on. Um... Sometimes I'll play, or I'll play often Hogwarts A Mystery and Puzzles and Spells. Um, we're trying, I'm trying to get a capture card so we can play Animal Crossing. And in Animal Crossing, I'm working on creating a Wizarding World Island. So my son, my oldest son, uh... Or, well, I decided to play Animal Crossing, and I realized we had it and went on, and started playing, and I'd already decided to make it a magic island. And then I realized after a while that my oldest son had already created, already had an account there as I learned more about Animal Crossing, and that another son had one. And I talked to both of them. My older, older son actually streams a variety of games. And so I talked to him on if he was ever going to want to stream. And he said he might. So that meant... Cool. I will let him know. Let me plug in my phone. <laughs> so that meant... Um, that I needed to work around him, too. Well, I got looking at what it already started creating, and it was Dracula. And I went, that's perfect! <laughs> so, Dracula's going to be on one side of the island. Hogwarts is going to be on the other side of the island. And I have this, these, um, so Hogwarts is going to be up on a cliff. And it's going to be my other son's house. The one that the the one that doesn't stream and everything. He said I could go ahead and use his user and have fun with it. Um, just he wanted to make sure Slytherin was one of the rooms in his house. So he's going to be Hogwarts up on the cliff. And I figured out, um, watching some streams, how at least have some hints on even including a Quidditch pitch. And you'll have to go through the Forbidden Forest to get to it, which will be a row of trees leading, maybe one on each side or just one leading up to Hogwarts and maybe the Quidditch pitch. And leading into the trees to show you where to go, I'm going to put a candy. At least if the candy doesn't rot. So far it's not. So that the ants lead into the entry. <laughs> so, 
then the villagers will all be right around the plaza and they're going to be just a regular town. The villagers and the museum and the stores and whatever. And on the edge of town will be my house. And in my house will be a portrait that's also going to be in the great hall that will be in my son's house. That's Hogwarts. And it will lead into the room of requirements or a classroom in my house. And then upstairs in my house will be the headmaster's office. And then <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know from my name. I knew exactly who you meant. Had no issues with it. And basically when I'm it's not it wasn't worth it to correct you. <laughs> Honestly, I've had people hear me and say, "Good sir." <laughs> so and they read my name my real name. And they call me a sir. Yes, I am female. Yes, I was born female. But. <laughs> Many people. But I know I have a lower voice. Also. And. It's not like my username gives any hint as to my gender. So no issues at all. <laughs> And thank you for coming on over and joining us. But yeah, so so I have all these ideas. <laughs> you know, we'll have the headmaster's office and whatever, and it'll be in a town on the or in a on the edge of a town, with the idea being that they kind of spread Hogwarts out a little bit too, so that if there ever was another attack, they wouldn't all be in one place. It would be harder to beat. And destroy all of her Hogwarts. So. And I just got Bo. Uh, Bo moved in yesterday. Kind of for. Um, my idea there is. James. Harry. Lily. Snape. And honestly, dear, for me, are a omen of good. So there's that. I'm looking for Bianca because my son's really into white, into Siberian tigers, white Siberian tigers. And then I'm looking for. Savannah, because my me and my family actually have a chronic illness that's genetic, and it's a rare disease, and zebras stand for rare disease, so just as a token commemoration of that, and then right now I have Dom, Ursula, Twiggy, Big Top, and Maggie. Those are the ones that my son had brought in, and he said if I we choose down the road, we can get rid of him, of any of them. He doesn't care. But the ones I for sure want are Bianca, Bo, and Savannah. So, <laughs> and so that's what the Lava Walls and Floors is about, is for Dracula's castle that'll be on the other side of the island in trees.
But for that, I'm working on getting a capture card that'll work well. I tried one this past week, and it was fine until we connected voice to it. And the minute I connected in a microphone, it went extremely laggy, nowhere near acceptable. So I sent that back, and I'm looking for another one but that's not going to break the bank. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. But otherwise, I'm just going to keep looking and trying to decide which one is going to work the best. So I go live, um, my, I need to update my thing, Monday and Wednesday I go live in the, at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, and otherwise, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And then I just stream until I don't get people communicating and having fun with me anymore. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a tickle in my throat. <laughs> yes, I need to be able to get to where I have the hydrate thing on. I also need to get my hydration ready before I stream. I was not. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I have water sitting here, but... It's actually one of those that I know I'm going to need my electrolytes. So, and I always forget how thirsty talking makes you. It's probably why Twitch has a recommended hydrate. <laughs> And stretch and posture check <laughs> but they should allow us to use those even before we get associate at least those three So I'm getting it ready, Steph. That's why nothing's going on on screen. <laughs> okay, yeah. I keep these Powerade bottles full of water and 28 ounce bottles full of water by my bed. I just drank about half of it. <laughs> I can promise those will be decently low point ones. Unless people take advantage of them too much.
on my if, if when I get to affiliate <laughs> because well as you know Steph it's very important I stay hydrated Hey, it's been about another 15 minutes, so and Cannonball won one on their own. Congrats, Steph! I know you've been working on that one for a while. <laughs> hey, a shark is a shark. I know there's more than one, but... So is there anything you guys want to talk about? Considering today I've gone the gamut from Programmers to support Orange Wizard to hearing and how that's affected at a young it's in how hearing or not hearing oh not a problem <laughs> we all jump in and out for so. We went through hearing and not hearing at a young age. We went through uh, a lot of stuff. Hey, you know one thing we could do? We could let Studio see the latest... Let's see. There's going to be the best place to start. So, actually, we need to start before that. We need to start. I think here. Nope, that's the note. We'll just start here. So, this was when I placed the mask in the Brilliant Borgen and Burks. There's something about this mask that fills me with dread, but I can't quite put my wand on it. And Gareth, who is a ministry official over the unspeakables. So Constance is just a secretary. Gareth says, if this is what I think it is, you have a right to be nervous. Years ago, I stumbled upon information 
regarding an ancient cult of dark wizards and witches that used masks like this one. Legends claim they were capable of transferring knowledge and power from generation to generation. So kind of like the idea of the mask. The movie. But, yeah. And then he says, I thought it was a load of cod swallop at the time, but now given what we've learned about the calamity and how one can manipulate it to snatch and implant memories, I'm not so sure. Then this one's about Nocturnally. I placed the hand, that hand statue. As far as, and this is Harry talking, Harry is an or in the Department of Magical Law Enforcement and Hermione is Ministry of Magic, Minister of, Ministress, I guess, of Magic or whatever. As far as Bor Nocturnally denizens go, Borgen always struck me as relatively harmless. His wares, on the other hand, were quite the opposite. He even stocked a cursed necklace that he advertised as having taken the lives of 19 muggles. If something like that were to fall into the wrong hands because of this surge, the consequences would be dire. Constance, um, this was the end of the last event. Thank Merlin, we finally managed to stamp out this surge. I was starting to worry this nightmare would never end. It is over, isn't it, Harry? I mean, it's true that we discovered someone else is manipulating the calamity, but we put an end to that, didn't we? And Harry says, no, Constance. In fact, I'm quite certain our troubles are only beginning. The calamity feels even more alive and dangerous than, bef than ever. And I suspect Lethifold and Barguest are responsible. And there's someone that they found is manipulating it. They found out through notes. He continues, it's imperative we discover their true intentions and identities, including whether or not Barguest is really grim before they set something in motion that can't be stopped. Constance says, Well, we know that they communicate through the calamity. Perhaps if they haven't caught on to us, we'll be able to intercept more of their letters and get some much-needed answers. And Harry says, I only hope those answers don't come too late. Remember when I compared the calamity to a coming storm? Well, the thunder's growing deafening, and I fear a lightning strike is imminent. No! No! I can take a second and I will show you what the giveaway is for. So, I got to get them together. I've got them off to the side. So, I got to get them where I can video or can show you through the. So, I can actually show you. Is that all of them? Nope, there's another one. Okay, there. And I gotta take my case off, because, yeah. So, Those are wands. You can see about the size of it. We have a variety of different sizes. And you can choose one of these. And then I have tops. Let's see if I have mine. Aha. Uh -huh. I have tops like this one. It doesn't want to focus there. That can turn them into styluses. And so that's what we're doing for the giveaway. And that was just, okay, let's go back because we're going through other stuff now. So yeah, 
It's all mine. It has nothing to do with Niantic. This is just something, and I'm honestly not, I don't, some of the WooTubers have a NDA with Niantic, and they're affiliated with Niantic. I stream for myself, and for friends and whatever else. So, this is totally me. So what you'll be able to do is pick one of the, who, whoever goes first will get to pick one of those and then can pick if they want it to remain a wand or to become a stylus. If they want it to be a stylus, I'll make it into a stylus. And then I'll mail it off to you. If you just want it as a wand, I'll mail it off to you. And if you want to know a interesting backstory behind them, so this year I was trying to think of what to do for my giveaway. Which, actually, anyone who wants can always give me ideas for future giveaways. But this year I was trying to think of what to do. And I wanted to do something that would be enjoyed by my viewers. And kind of appreciated. And I always try to do one in line with the events. Or, not the events, with the game. So last year, it was some... Halloween molds that had like witches hats and a few things like that and some chocolate so that and that's what the give what um, I gave last year this year I was trying to think of what to do and I kept using my own stylus and I thought I wish there was a way I could give my viewers one of these but they're so expensive on Etsy and stuff I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to give more than like one or two and I'd like to have the option for more people to win um, and so I thought about it and I thought about it and then we had about a month ago there was a huge storm that blew through Utah and it actually was the talk of a lot of different streamers and everything else because and I think it got near hurricane force winds or even at I'm not sure but so that blew through and I'm in Utah um, the next day I had PT and I was out and I, er, and even as, and I'd started to think, I wish I could get my hands on some really good wood that of different sizes. And I was looking at buying sticks online. That's literally how far I'd gone is to think of purchasing just sticks on line to make the um, wand and then the storm blew through and I was over at my PT and they had a bunch of perfect sized ones that had come down from their trees and I asked them if they minded if I took them away for them at least the perfect sized ones and they were like go for it we don't care this was about a month ago you know that and it hit most of Utah the one that was blowing down trees on people's houses and everything I don't know if you remember but
Yeah, recently there hasn't been that bad one. This one was a while ago. This one was like about a month ago, and it was all over the news and everything else. Okay, I was going to say, so that storm, <laughs> it came from that storm. And cool. So Steph's on the East Coast. Um, yeah, we have people from all over who watch. I think you're actually one of the first ones from actually in Utah that watches. And that's even better. Let's, okay. Now, here's where we have to do this. That's stupid that every so often it will choose itself. No. Nightbot is not going to win. Where is my... There it is. The giveaway. Let's see. Have we had anyone else in that? I think <laughs> So that's what we do when Nightbot decides to get greedy. That works, Cannonball. Thanks for going and helping her. I really, you know, as a mom myself, I know how much it means to have help from your kids. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Have a good day. <laughs> Nightbot. Nightbot is not allowed to win the giveaway. <laughs> I don't care how many times it tries. I think you agree, Steph. I don't know what Nightbot has with it, but Nightbot seems to think it gets to win the you win about every third giveaway. <laughs> Next year I may have to do it. <laughs> Not one but wants to become magical. Maybe next year I'll play, I'll name night or I'll I'll give Nightbot to one of the um to a random viewer or a just I'll choose a viewer or a subscriber or whatever that gets the name of Nightbot. <laughs> and so every time Nightbot wins, either so a viewer or a subscriber or a Wizard Tonight streamer or Orange Wizard or something, and every time Nightbot wins, they get the entry. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think Nightbot has the skills to use a wand. <laughs> Yes, it wants to be a wizard. Because <laughs> I've watched other streams, and they even let their mods win. And I have never, and they use Nightbot. 
And I have never seen Nightbot win on their streams. But Nightbot keeps going after this wand. <laughs> after these wands. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I have watched other users use Nightbot. <laughs> I don't know how I... <laughs> I'll have to see if there's a way to eliminate Nightbot, but keep your mods in. <laughs> Well, and how it leaked? Why it doesn't automatically eliminate itself from a giveaway? I don't get. <laughs> and why it seems to be only on my streams. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to post that on Discord. <laughs> or find a way to find out how to contact the... Maybe I'll have you uh, send my picture of a one that was created by... Um, my artist, two Nightbots developers and whatever, and say, here's your one! <laughs> Nightbot needs to stop winning my giveaways! <laughs> I wonder if we have a wand emoji. Can I search? Nope, not going to let me search. And I don't have time to look. So I was going to try and put a wand in the <laughs> chat and say, There you go, Nightbot. Now shut up. <sighs> anyway so do we want to stay on um do we just want to switch you and me to Discord, we've been, I've been on an hour and a half, or about two hours now. There's your wand, Nightbot. Now shut up and stop trying to win the giveaway. Anyway, um. <laughs> uh, do we want to keep going, or... Maybe next time I'll put in parentheses, and not Nightbot, <laughs> or something. Or maybe I'll put, <coughs> I t I'll title the frame, let's see if Nightbot tries to win the giveaway today. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I will see who we can raid for a minute. Obviously, Discord is taking its time to open on my computer. I prefer to open it on my computer because that allows me to have time to at least slightly review who I'm going to send you to. If that makes sense. Because I don't like sending people just anywhere. As you know.
In fact, that would be the be a good stream name. Is Nightbot going to win my giveaway today? Try to win my giveaway today. And then people will come in going, what? <laughs> Apex crown well, let's come down here. Okay, what's King Wolfman? Let's go see what he's playing because he didn't even put in the thing to tell me. Nope, we aren't going there. We I have an idea who we're raiding, and I think it's gonna end up Professor Oakwood again. Just because Apex, yep, it looks like we're raiding Professor Oakwood again. Unless you want to raid Animal Crossing. Which would you prefer? Um, well, they're both Animal Crossing. We'll raid Professor Oakwood. He's, I really enjoy his. And he's the one who really got me thinking about doing the, um... Animal Crossing, like, pushed me over the edge for the Animal Crossing, so, island. So, we will raid him. He's really calm, he's fun to listen to, and um, I really enjoy that one. So, we will see you tomorrow. my own sound back on because I want to hear you.